Hi, my name is Jamal Newton, and I'm here to highlight my hero, my father, John Newton. My dad is a man of very few words, but of many actions. Uh, my dad had I'm my dad's first child, and a week later, I became my sister was born. Um, it was hard in the beginning trying to understand that situation. But um, as I grew older, I appreciated my dad much more for despite the challenges, he stood there for me and all of my siblings. Um, my dad lives in St. Croix. Um, every summer, he made sure I was able to spend my entire summer break with him. So I actually grew up there also. And uh, he made it every chance he had possible to come to St. Martin and spend time with me. Um, at a younger age, I was like a spoiled child because like I was not around him as often. So he mostly showered me with whatever I wanted. But as I grew older, I asked him for more time and more um, leadership or, you know, being more in my life. And um, when I moved to Holland, just before I moved to Holland, our relationship improved tremendously. Uh, we speak to this day at least twice a week. Um, I have shared all my challenges with my dad, and he has always been there to give me advice. Uh, my dad is a prostate cancer survivor, and uh, during that, that procedure, we always um, talked step by step how, that is, how it affected him and how small things that I had trouble with, he would always guide me. And our last encounter in, in, in March, we spent time together for his birthday. And it was very, very, very great for me. Um, it was a time during that trip that I learned um, a lot about myself and a lot about how, many, how, how much of uh, similarities we share. You know, um, my dad, one of the stories that he told me from young that, you know, um, he was always a leader in his family. To this day, my aunts and uncles, they always respect him and he had at a young age to take care of his siblings while my grandmother was in a hospital or my grandfather was working. He would basically have $65 to pay the bills and, and still maintain the household. So at a young age, he was exposed to a lot. And he had told me that, you know, um, that helps you learn and understand and appreciate your family more. One of the key rules that he always teaches me, family first, and always be there for your family and always be there for your children. You know, so I appreciate him so much for showing me those qualities that I expose to my children and others that are, are interact with me on a daily basis. You know. um, so that is my hero, John Newton.